Hi, my name is Gareth Pronovost and I'm an Airtable consultant. One of the biggest questions that I get asked is what is the difference between Airtable and other collaborative data type platforms like Google Sheets? So in this video, I'm going to really be drilling into this and going into the specifics about why I think Airtable has a massive leg up on the competition. It's not all perfect. There is a drawback in there. So uh, make sure you stay tuned until the end where I give one thing that I wish Airtable maybe had some easier workarounds for. But without further ado, let's jump on into it. Welcome to Entrepreneurship by the Numbers, where we help unlock the potential of your business with data-driven metrics. All right, there are three things, in my opinion, that Airtable does exceptionally well that give it a serious leg up on similar systems like Google Sheets. So I'm gonna work backwards from my least favorite of these to my most favorite. So number three, is Airtable gives us the ability to enter multiple types of data in the form of attachments. So where systems like Google Sheets and Excel will only take numbers or text or formulas, uh, Airtable goes a step above and beyond and you can drop in all kinds of files. You can drop in Excel files, Word files, PDFs, JPEGs, you name it. Uh, so quick example here, jumping into an Airtable uh, example, we can just click an Excel file from our desktop and just drop it on in and you see now after a moment it's now saved into this record number two. Similarly I can do that with a Word file or uh, you know just about any kind of file imaginable. So this is a really awesome way that you can store records and uh, keep everything very organized so that if you had different clients that you were working with or or different uh, you know jobs that you were working on all the related data to that particular thing is in one place and you don't have to go searching around the internet for it or you know juggling through desktop files. All right, so continuing to work backwards, my number two favorite thing that Airtable does that beats out similar systems is the view system that they have. So in Airtable, your, your standard form is this grid view, which looks very similar to Excel, very similar to Google Sheets. But Airtable offers a bunch of different types of views. You have the grid, you've got a form, you have calendar view, you have a gallery and a Kanban. So really quickly jumping into maybe two of the most popular of these, the calendar view, for example, is going to give you the ability to look at all of the data in your table arranged by a date that you have already established in that table. So switching back to my grid view here, you see that we've got these uh, dates here in our fourth column, which columns, by the way, in Airtable are called fields. So in our fourth field, we have all these different dates. Well, on our calendar view, we're organizing these records by date. And you'll see that we can actually move them around on the calendar. If we wanted to do our scheduling in, in a way like this, we could do it. And when we go back to that grid view, because this is all interrelated, you'll see those dates have now changed. So that's a really powerful you know, way to look at your data. And the fact that you can just do that with a click of a button is insane. Uh, similarly, the Kanban view. So for this one, we're going to look at this status. So imagine that we had uh, you know, an, a system in our business where we placed an order was placed and then we had to you know, package the order up and then we had to ship the order out. So a you know, very simple system just for this example. But if we had a Kanban view, we could actually sort this Kanban by status and we can move our records through our process just as we could move them on that calendar view. So let's say we packaged up uh, order number, you know, record number two and we were ready to ship it. All we have to do is drag it on over and then once it ships, you know, we could add another uh, status over here and, you know, kind of say, hey, this one's done. So the Kanban view is incredibly, uh, you know, intuitive and again, really easy to set up. And similarly, you know, you can always just jump right in here and take a look at the full record if you need more of a deep dive. Okay, now to my favorite thing that Airtable does that nothing else compares with, it is getting into the audit trail. So in terms of collaborating, yes, you know, multiple people can be working in Google Sheets at the same time on the same project, and it updates more or less in real time. Uh, similarly, you can do the same thing in Airtable, but the thing that Airtable does that no other system does that I know of is it gives you the ability to really collaborate directly on these particular records and you get an audit trail. So you can actually see 
all the changes that were made to that record and who made them. So jumping into this one, let's just look at order or record number two here. Uh, we can see here on the right hand side all of the things that I've done to this record. I first created the record or named it 32 minutes ago. Uh, you know, I, I edited the status 17 minutes ago. And so you can imagine how useful this would be if over a period of time you had multiple people working on the same data sources and you want to be able to track all of the different parts. Taking this even a step further, you can leave comments for your teammates directly inside this record and you can even reference your teammates with an at and then their name. So it's pretty incredible if you do this, of course I'm the only person in this base, but if you had a team of two or more people, they would actually receive notifications when you send this uh, message to them. And so I mean, this is pretty powerful stuff. It keeps you right in your work and it, doesn't, it means that you don't have to go answer an email on you know, this desktop and then deal with it over here. Instead, your, your head is in the game and you get to work and collaborate in the same space. Incredible. All right, so as I mentioned at the beginning, there is one thing that Airtable does that makes it a little bit more difficult to work with than Google Sheets or Excel. And that is in Airtable, all the data that's attached to a record stays with that record. Remember, a record is a, a row in Airtable. So all of that data stays with that record and it doesn't, it cannot move around. In other systems like Excel or Google Sheets, you can delete some of your rows and you know, shift things up or down and everything is more flexible in that way. But with Airtable, uh, everything, all the data that's attached to a record stays with that record. You can of course change it, but you can't delete portions of your data and offset rows or columns. So the reason that that becomes a bit tricky is especially when writing formulas. So for this example, jumping into Google Sheets, let's say we had these four numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20. I can multiply the first one by five and I can multiply the second one by 10 and the third one by you know, another number, uh, 20 let's say, you get the idea. Each one of these can be multiplied by its own number. But with Airtable, very different story. When we're writing a formula, see we have those same numbers, 5, 10, 15, 20. Whenever we write a formula in Airtable, it has to occur, the same formula has to happen to every record uh, in our table. So, quick example for you. We uh, write a formula here and we can say multiply everything in that numbers field and we can multiply it, but whatever we pick to multiply it by, it's going to do that arithmetic to that entire field for every single record. So for example, in this case, we multiply everything by five. Five times five, 10 times five, 15 times five, 20 times five. There is no way to multiply one number by something and one number by something else. So this makes it a little difficult when trying to perform some calculations on some records and not all. Uh, in most cases, you can get around this with logic statements like if, and, or. Uh, these are all formulas that you can write in Airtable, but uh, it does make it a little bit more tricky to work in Airtable. All right, as always, I hope you found that to be very helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to drop a note below the video and, uh, and I'll get to answering those as quickly as possible. And in the meantime, best of luck as you continue to grow your empire.